Yo, what's good? My name's Kang, and today I'm going to show you how I plan, buy, and meal prep for the whole entire week. I'm going to be going over what I realistically eat as a 24-year-old dude. And here are some of the parameters that we're going to frame this video around. Number one, this food's got to be relatively cheap, relatively healthy, and relatively easy to make. Number two, I want to get my protein in. So for my goals, I'm trying to get 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight that I have. I'm around 185 pounds, which means I want to target around 150 grams of protein each day. And number three, this is probably the most important category of all of them, but the food's gotta taste good. I honestly think that food tasting good is really, really underemphasized in meal prep, especially for gym bros. Like I know I can hit my protein goals if I followed every other gym bros meal prep routine, but all of their meals consist of bland chicken and some kind of concoction with cheese and Greek yogurt that it wouldn't feed a prisoner. All right, so with all that in mind, let's get started with the meal prep. Yo, so Sunday at uh, 8.30 and you know what they say, it's meal prep Sunday. So the first thing that I do is I check the grocery store flyers and see what's on sale around me. Now there's two good reasons for this. Number one, obviously you're gonna get a better deal. And number two, if you kind of force yourself to cook what's on sale, not only are you gonna open your palate, but you also get way better at cooking. So after a while of looking, I think this is what we're gonna go with. It's 80-20 ground beef for $2.99 at Safeway. And say I look through Flip and I don't really find anything that I really wanna cook, that's when I'll just go through my tried and true method, the default, which is just chicken thighs. Okay, so now that we've decided what kind of protein we wanna build our meals around, we have to kind of start like a mood board situation and figure out what kind of recipes you wanna cook for the week. Now this usually consists of me going on YouTube and watching a bunch of videos, or just checking out some recipes online and seeing what really catches my eye. So after doing some soul searching on the web, it looks like we're gonna go with ground beef bibimbap. So after watching a couple YouTube videos, trying to remember every single bibimbap I've ever had and factoring my laziness, I have compiled this list of groceries, which I'll throw on screen. So before we go grocery shopping, I just wanna check my fridge and my pantry to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing or if I'm not gonna buy anything twice. Yeah, we ain't got Okay, I remember something very important while getting ready. Uh, you don't wanna go to the grocery store hungry because then you're gonna buy a bunch of random snacks that you were not gonna buy and it's gonna mess up your whole entire grocery shopping experience. So you're just gonna be walking like, yeah, I'm so hungry, I want food. You're gonna be cranky. So I'm just gonna go get a protein bar really quick and eat that up before we go. So I'm not gonna buy any snacks, you know what I mean? All right, so now that we're done getting ready, done eating, let's go to the grocery store. It's 9.25, so it's been an hour since we started um, our little escapade. No more of those uh, fake tiny little tote bags. We going heavy duty. All right, let's go. Okay, so now that we're back, let's just do a quick haul, grocery haul. Let's see. 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 So the total cost of all our grocery shopping today was $31.70 minus that five bucks. That brings us to $26. And this is going to feed us more or less for the whole entire week. Of course, I have other food at home that I have already bought, which I'm going to also eat. So it's not entirely the whole entire cost, but I think this is the majority of the meal I'm going to eat. Everything else is mostly just snacks. All right. So now that we got all the food at home and you know, we've unpacked it and everything, let's actually start cooking. Time is now 11 o'clock. So this morning we started at 8.30, now it's 11. So obviously it took longer because I was filming and stuff but just for a gauge of how long everything's taking. Also, I hate when these recipes, like tell like those whole entire life story, like my grandma had, this was her favorite recipe when she was growing up and bro, just tell me exactly what I need to do, man. It's too much work. So I'm gonna start with the rice first cause that's gonna probably take the longest. Make sure to wash your rice before you use it because if you don't, you are gonna never be happy in life. You'll die alone. I just put the rice in and it's starting to go right now. I usually do two cups of rice every time I meal prep, which ends up being like, I don't know, like, two cups of uncooked rice divided by five, so 0 0.4 cups of rice. I don't know if that's how rice math works. And I know in a lot of uh, bibimbap recipes, they actually do the bibimbap and they cook everything so it has a little bit of texture and char. But since I'm gonna be eating this in meal prep, I don't wanna be cooking, for example, the cucumbers, so it's gonna be all soggy, right? Um, uh, by the end of the day, sorry, by the end of the week. So I'm gonna be cutting these separately and then just be eating them on the side, which I know is not authentic, but I don't really care, this is my world. For the carrots, usually they do like really thin strips, like the julienne cut, but if I'm being honest, I don't know if that's in my bag, so let's see what I come up with. So this is kind of the best that I'm gonna get, to be honest. Another thing about eating vegetables raw, I think a lot of the fiber from vegetables is actually cooked away. So if you're eating it raw, you're actually saving a lot of that nutrient. I have no empirical data to back that up. It's just what my mom told me. And she's pretty smart, so I'm just gonna trust her. So for the green onions, the white part, I'm gonna use that with the beef. And then those other parts, I'm gonna use it as garnish. 
Also, if you don't have, get these uh, these deli containers, super clutch for meal prep. They all have the same lids, so you're not like running around searching for different lids. Another reason why I should meal prep, because once you're done cooking for the whole entire week, you're not really cooking uh, the other days of the week, so you don't have to clean the kitchen as much. All right, so we just finished chopping up that garlic. Next, I think we just start cooking now. Next, we're gonna do the beef. So yeah, that's basically it. Now all I gotta do is just assemble the bowls. And all I did was separate what needed to be reheated into these bowls. I'm gonna put the, the beef in here. You know, we got one side just for the beef. So here we got these deli containers. Like I said, we got five of them. Like one portion of veggies into one bowl. All right, so as we can see, that that's all there really is to it. Right now it's 12, 11. It took me about an hour-ish to cook after we came home and like did that whole entire situation. Considering I filmed an hour is pretty fast, now I have food for the rest of the week. Um, and all I gotta do is take this out of the fridge, let's throw this inside of the microwave for like two or three minutes, and then this just on the side, toss it in with the rest of the meal after it's done heating. And then, you know, you've got a pretty healthy meal. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put these away, uh, pack everything up, clean up the kitchen because I made a huge mess. And you know, we'll circle back on Monday or Tuesday when I eventually get to eat one of these and we can do a little review. Okay, so today's day one of five of my meal prep. And when I usually cook, I don't really measure anything. And I don't really taste the whole entire combined meal until like the first day. I only tasted the meat to see if it was seasoned. But aside from that, I have not tasted any of this together. So I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm assuming it's gonna be okay. So we can see here, we got the veggies and the rice and the meat. And here we just have the vegetables that I'm gonna be eating with the, like the cold vegetables I didn't want to heat up. First, I'm gonna try just the meat. I'll be dry, that's okay. I'm just talking mushrooms. I love just talking mushrooms, so yummy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I keep on making these fire meals, man. So of course the food is fire because I cooked it. Even if it wasn't good, I would still probably eat it because I'm not that picky of an eater. I'll actually run the numbers and see how much this meal per meal will cost me and I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But just as I eat, let me go through the other things that I ate during the day. So I unironically eat avocado toast and eggs every single morning. I know this is a meme where it's like, oh, the reason that young people can't buy houses is because they're eating avocado toast. But if I'm being completely honest, even if that was the reason that people couldn't buy houses, like, I'm down, bro. With my avocado toast, I'll have a protein shake basically every single day as well. In this protein shake, I'm doing two scoops of whatever whey protein I have, one scoop of creatine, and then one scoop of like this green formula that I started taking recently. So I'll usually eat my breakfast right away when I get home from the gym, which is around 9 a.m. And that will keep me full until around like one or two. And around that time, I usually have a protein bar. These are just from Costco, like $1.25, and they're pretty good. Or I'll have some Greek yogurt or some granola. And around six or seven o'clock is when I'll have my meal prep dinner. I'll just throw into the microwave for like three minutes and you know, wash whatever dishes need to be washed, and then just eat. And after dinner, if I'm still hungry, or if I want a little snack, I'll have a couple spoonfuls of ice cream. And throughout the day, I usually just drink water whenever I need it. I go through about three or four of these every single day. I mostly only drink water, I sometimes drink tea, but I don't really like the taste of coffee, and me not drinking coffee is a constant reminder that I'm better than everyone that does, so that keeps me going. So that's basically what I'm gonna be eating for the next couple of days. And I'm not doing this just for the video, this is actually normally how I eat. And we'll check back at the end of the week to see how much everything costs, and we'll do a review of I guess my eating for the week. Okay, so now it's the end of the week. I ate my meal prep every single day of the week and I gotta say it was pretty good. So on the weekends, I usually go out to eat. So this week in particular, on Saturday I had katsu for lunch, which my friend very graciously paid for me since I was helping him move. And then for dinner, I had a poke bowl. So on Sunday, I basically had the same thing that I had during the week. I had my avocado toast in the morning, my yogurt and granola sometime around lunch. And for dinner, I had my meal prep for next week which was sweet potatoes, lemongrass chicken, and some broccoli. So all in all, that brings the total cost of all the food that I ate this week to this number. I'm not gonna calculate it because I'm lazy, but I'll put it on screen. In total, I spent like three hours on Sunday meal prepping, and honestly, it probably would've been two hours, but an hour of it was filming and you know doing all the other stuff. And during the day, it took me like 20 minutes per day total to cook all of my food. And based off my rough napkin math, because I don't really measure anything, I did get around 142 grams of protein per day, which is a bit shy of my mark of 150, but I'm still okay with that. This video is a little bit different from what I normally make, so I wanna say thanks if you made it this far. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. We're trying to hit 1K subs by the end of the year, so if you're trying to rock with the vision, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join the mob.